What it do, Snake of Life fam? It's your boy J. Just hope each and every one of you guys is having a safe and blessed day. But you know, I definitely did go to Snipes. You know what I'm saying? And your boy definitely picked up something that I definitely thought I wasn't gonna be able to see. And I definitely do want to get you guys opinions on it. But you know, we definitely about to get into it. And man, I feel like it's been forever since I have done a sneaker review, yeah. But your boy is here with a sneaker review today. As y'all can see, regular Jordan box with your gold jump man. And label on these joints do read Air Jordan 7 Retro SE Gray School, yes. Size 6. Colorway is Vachetta Tan Black Taxi. Man, definitely, man. And opening up the box, nothing too crazy. But when you open up the shoe, y'all. Man, you open up this shoe, y'all. Now listen, it, even with me taking out the shoe, y'all, I know most people ain't the biggest fans of the Jordan 7 silhouette. But check this out. Your boy love, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know I love 7s. But, you know, we got the Air Jordan 7 Afro Beats, y'all man and i believe these was limited because i believe on release day i did see a pair on foot locker but i did not see that it was for our area i believe this the pair that i saw you were only able to purchase it in i want to say la so you know definitely will say these was more on a limited side because i definitely didn't see these in a lot of you know your regular retail stores i know they did drop on the sneakers app now these actually did release october 22nd and retail on these was kind of steep you know what i'm saying i mean 210 for these i mean hey i mean the way they look man it definitely looked like a collab on this shoe yeah so this is the one that i tried on inside the store but i'm gonna put this one to the side so i definitely could talk about this one you know give y'all a little slight review but man let's just admire that colorway definitely now y'all know we don't receive this colorway on a lot of Air Jordans. I wanna say the last colorway we seen this Vachetta Tan colorway on was the Air Jordan 1 heirlooms. Like we seen that whole Vachetta Tan colorway. And man, that Vachetta Tan colorway is actually nice. I wanna say on the Air Jordan 1 heirlooms, it kinda had like a corduroy material where the black was actually too. But on these guys, you definitely, you know, first off, this shoe is inspired by African culture, you know, as far as music and whatnot. I believe, you know, West African music, you know, uh, American jazz, you know, and I believe it, it originally originated in Nigeria and then it went to Ghana, you know, and so forth. But definitely, this is showing much love to a lot of African culture out there. And you know, I mean, this is a dope shoe, don't get me wrong, you know what I'm saying? And you definitely could see on this shoe that you do have some hints of, you know, African culture on this shoe. Now, I am gonna switch shoes just because this shoe is tightly laced up just to show you guys with the tongue, you know what I'm saying? But getting into the detail of the shoe, guys, you do have that African tribal print, which is around and embossed throughout the whole base of the shoe definitely as you can see it is by you know more towards your lateral heel then it does go around to this side as well and it does go to the kind of near the toe box area as well guys and man that that leather on this guys one thing i will say is the leather isn't this isn't your regular leather like this leather on these feel a little bit more hard like this is more of a stiff leather you know, I want to say you definitely do have, you know, your black laces on the tongue. You definitely do have like a Vachetta tan kind of nylon tongue right there, guys. And you do have that Vachetta tan colorway, which runs all throughout the base of the shoe. I definitely, as I mentioned to you guys, I definitely do love the colorway. You know what I'm saying? It definitely does bring a different vibe to the Air Jordan 7. You definitely do got your Jumpman stamp right there in that Vachetta Tan colorway as well. And you do have your Vachetta Tan pull tab. It isn't like your standard Air Jordan 7 pull tab, you know, but I mean, hey, you know, this is only one of the main parts that I probably didn't like about the shoe, guys, is the pull tab on it. 
But other than that, the shoe was good. And another part, guys, you do have the Nike Air on the back of the Air Jordan 7 Afro Beats. Now, that's something different that we see on the Air Jordan 7, just for the simple fact that on the Air Jordan 7, we are used to seeing the Mountain Peak, and we are used to seeing that 23 stamp. But with this one, seeing that this is a special edition and it's honoring the 30th anniversary of the Air Jordan 7, I feel like that's a, that's a reason as to why Jordan Brand actually decided to throw that Nike Air on the back. Now, I feel like, you know, seeing that Jordan threw Nike Air on the Air Jordan 7, I feel like they could start to do that with a lot of other silhouettes, maybe like the sixes you know maybe like the fours you know what i'm saying we've seen it done with the fire red threes which definitely was one of the best air jordan 3 releases to drop this year you know what i'm saying but definitely you know that's something different to see on this air jordan 7 going into your midsole do have that all black midsole which goes all around you do have your mountain peaks which is consistent of a dark concord colorway and a taxi colorway you know what i'm saying and they like to use taxi for everything you know i feel like at this point just using that taxi for everything just makes it more harder for jordan to actually release the taxis like let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below man but i'm definitely gonna switch these out just so i can give you guys a visual of the tongue okay guys so we do have that tribal pattern print on the tongue and the tongue is consistent of that nylon material as well you know you do have your tribal print on the ankle collar of the shoe as well which is more on the inside you know hopefully you guys can see that now that's something that is very much different guys you do have your jordan which is in that taxi yellow and you do have your air which is in that red you know what i'm saying definitely something dope and you know different to the shoe as i mentioned it is representing you know african culture so you know you definitely can expect a lot of things to actually go on with this shoe man but definitely a dope shoe and while i do have this shoe i might as well just show you guys the insole so let me take out my cotton paper now going into the insole guys we do have that all black and so with your white jump man and your size and tag stamped on the inside as well you know what i'm saying and you do have your manufacturing date and things of that nature on the back of the tongue as well guys. going into the outsole guys you do have now one thing i will say is you would never notice that this shoe has red until you look at the outsole i wish they somewhere along the shoe they would have kind of threw like a red hint only red hint that we did see was the air on the tongue but that really just don't do much you know what i'm saying i wish they would have gave this a few more red hints but other than that shoe is dope but we do got hints of red you do have your uh dark concord jump man you do have hints of black do have hints of that taxi yellow and you do have hints of red again you know what i'm saying with your tribal print on the outsole as well guys so i will say that this is very much a dope shoe in my opinion you know what i'm saying now as i mentioned in the beginning of the video guys i did say that this shoe was you know limited now from my perspective as i mentioned when i did go on the Foot Locker app i did not see these loaded mm -hmm. up when the shoe is limited you know they only may put a size or two up on Foot Locker, and that's the only sizes you're gonna see so, you know, you definitely didn't see these at Foot Locker. And I definitely didn't expect to see these, you know, when I went to the mall. But, you know, it's just the vibeness and difference of the shoe that actually brought the attraction back. You know what I'm saying? Now, before I do end this video, I need y'all to spam that like button and comment. And let me know if y'all do want me to do an on feet. Like, I appreciate everybody who did tune into the on feet of the Bo Jacksons that I did drop, man. That video's still going crazy, I appreciate that. So if y'all definitely do want me to drop a video on the Air Jordan 7 Afro Beats, let your boy know, man. And definitely, you could throw these with anything, you know what I'm saying? I mean, these do give me Ben 7 vibes, you know what I'm saying? Just with the whole, you know, embossed tribal print on the base of the shoe. But definitely, you know, I definitely would go OG with the Ben 23, you know, 
Air Jordan 7s, but you know, these right here, you know, just with that Bichetta tan colorway, you know, you don't get most Air Jordan 7s or just most Air Jordans in general with that colorway. So I will say the Air Jordan 7 Afro Beats is definitely one that I did not expect to see, but I'm definitely glad to have these in the collection, man. Definitely. Whew clean clean sneaker let me know what you guys think of the air jordan 7 afro beats down in the comment section below let me know if these are a pad but like i always say you got your boy jay just you got the channel you got my thoughts and reviews and opinions on the air jordan 7 afro beats man let your boy know down in the comment section below if these are a pass or a cop yeah let your boy know definitely feeling the vibe but like i always say i love you guys so much i appreciate you guys man if you haven't man make sure to subscribe to the channel make sure to smash that like button make sure to hit them post notifications man so you never miss when your boy drop a new banging video man and definitely stay tuned to the on feet of the air jordan 7 afro beats man definitely definitely a clean colorway uh definitely let your boy know if you're going after these but like i always say guys reach for the stars i love you guys so much sky's the limit and we out